Welcome to Category Management Knowledge Group's course preview on Point of Sale or POS data. Retailer POS or Scanned Sales data is the king of category management data. Retailer scanned Point of Sale data and retailer measurement data from third parties like Nielsen and IRI, key account data, are derived from scanned Point of Sale data. Category management, sales, and marketing professionals should have strong competencies with POS data, well beyond pulling and reading POS data. This course will help you improve your understanding of how to analyze and interpret it. Retail point-of-sale data is the most valuable data source in category management and allows for many different types of analysis for in-depth category understanding. Here are the learning objectives for this course. Let's get started on the course preview. Point of sale data is the key data source required in category management. Both retailer scanned POS data and retailer measurement data from third parties are derived from scanned point of sale data. Both are often referred to simply as POS data. However, they are distinctly different data sets. Together, these two variations of POS data are the primary data sources with which to do category management work. They provide a clear picture of sales, movement, and tactical performance. They also give a real-time view of category performance and trends. In the full course, we explore retailer POS data, looking at how the data is derived, the key data variables that it provides, and some key strategic applications of the data. We then complete our review of POS data looking at retail measurement data. We will only be touching on some of these training components in this course preview. Retailer scanned sales contain a wealth of information, but the level of depth, types of reports, and front-end systems are all driven by the retailer. In order to have a strong, broad-based understanding of retailer POS data, it's important to focus on the key deliverables of the data. We'll provide examples that span different retailer systems so that your learnings can be applied to any retailer's POS, requiring only technical adaptation to each system. Let's start at the beginning of the process. How is POS data collected? First of all, we have the clerk who scans each product in a transaction. Each transaction feeds into a central store computer. For a chain of stores, this can mean tens, hundreds, or thousands of computers. These transaction feeds are then sent to a server at the retailer's headquarters. For some retailers with highly sophisticated systems, this data is uploaded to headquarters instantaneously. From the headquarters server, the data is processed and cleaned, and then goes onto the retailer's database server. From the database server, the data gets linked into a file system. Employees at the retailer headquarters can then have access to the data on their computer. They can request and receive reports through an internal reporting system, which differs by retailer. Retailers can have several different applications that provide access to their POS data based on their viewing audience. Internal access will most likely look different than the data that is made available to vendor partners or category captains. These different systems have different functionalities and ways of interacting with one another. Common retailer POS retrieval systems include Retail Link for Walmart and CRX for Costco. This chart captures a list of some of the retailers who are sharing POS data directly with their vendors and what kind of data they're most commonly sharing. We can divide the retailer's benefits for sharing POS data directly with their vendors into four categories. Supply chain benefits, including reduced out-of-stocks, distribution voids, and inventory. Merchandising benefits, including promotion, pricing, and planogram optimization, as well as improved in-store execution. Retail execution benefits, like decreased cost of execution and finding needed product in the back room. 
And lastly, general cross business benefits like general visibility and time savings. In Net, retailers sharing their POS data with their vendor partners can create added value benefits for both partners and help to move to more collaborative efforts. A recent study uncovered the top 10 benefits for retailers and vendors associated with data sharing. Improving shopper experience, better reporting and category management, as well as lower inventories are the top three benefits identified by both retailers and vendors. Please refer to the chart on the slide for a complete list of the top 10 benefits identified by retailers and vendors. Retailer scanned sales data can provide compelling insights, but there are a few things to consider, some strengths and challenges associated with scanned sales data. Retailer scanned sales data is the most important data source to use in category management. Because all categories are available, all the way down to an item level, the analysis capabilities are unlimited. Scanned sales data allows for powerful, flexible analysis, including in-depth profit, promotion, pricing, and assortment analysis. And some retailers even have access to shopping basket and loyalty data. This is where we can really get insights into shopper behavior. But retailers can't just rely on their internal scanned sales data in isolation. This data does not provide an external benchmark to gauge how they're doing versus their key competitors, channel, or total market. Retailers also need to ensure that they have their data properly segmented if they really want to take advantage of this powerhouse data source. Once again, scanned sales data is a very powerful resource. When accessed and used effectively, it can provide an in-depth understanding of a retail business. Let's review some of the outputs that you can get from retailer POS data. There are many scanned sales data measures associated with POS data, which vary based on the sophistication of a retailer's point-of-sale system. The standard metrics available include things like dollar sales, unit sales, profit, and inventory. Time periods are usually flexible, everything from hourly to daily to weekly to any type of time aggregates. Geographies can be by store, by region, by format, by total stores, or by store cluster. The level of detail that you go to really depends on your business issue or what you're trying to accomplish from your analysis. Extensive analytics can be done with this data. We're going to examine some of the measures from retailer scanned sales from the perspective of strategic application of the measures that are unique or specific to this data source. They include trends, some key trend analysis that can be completed leveraging the time variations in this data, out of stocks and in stock, which can be analyzed using POS data. This can help to determine stocking schedules at store level. Sales and profit analysis can be done to understand brand, segment, department, aisle, and total store results. It can also help retailers and vendors to understand the most profitable way to drive sales dollars across their categories and their stores. Promotional and pricing effectiveness analytics can also be tied into this analysis to understand how these tactics influence profit and sales. Distribution analysis, including tracking new items, product availability, and product assortment analysis can be done. The last analysis available in retailer POS data is Shopper Insights to get more understanding of consumer purchase behavior in the stores. The level of analysis and depth of the data is driven by each individual retailer and the systems and data that they share with their vendor partners. Let's review each of these analytics in more detail. Retailer scanned POS data has a variable of time in it. Time is measured in all data, but the breadth of time options available through a retailer's own POS system cannot be matched by any other data source. Illustrated here is history, 
measuring the past 10 years of fiscal sales. Most third-party data is available for the past three years, unless more time is archived and accessed with effort. Retailer POS can easily track back to any time period required for trended or historical perspectives required. This perspective can be invaluable in category management to answer specific questions. For example, when liquid laundry detergent compacted in 2007, retailers were able to go back 10 years to when powdered laundry detergent compacted to see key trends in sales and better plan for the consumer response to this change. Retailers who gained market share during this time period were able to replicate their strategies, while retailers who lost market share were able to learn and adjust their transition and promotion plans. We've now given you a preview of our certified course on Building Data Competency, POS Data which will take you to the next level of analysis to maximize this valuable category management data source. There are many options for you to choose from if you're interested in purchasing this course. The online course is available for purchase through Our House, which is Category Management Knowledge Group's state-of-the-art online training center. If you'd prefer, we can also run a private webinar for up to 200 people for a cost of $3,000 or a live session at a national or team meeting. Or if you're from a larger organization where many people would want to access the course, we can also make the course available for your use within your own internal learning management system. Your choices are limitless. Return on investment of your data purchase is paramount. For the millions of dollars some organizations spend on data, you want to know that the data is being optimized and maximized. Purchasing data gives your organization facts and data, but you shouldn't allocate your whole budget to data. By adding in software and reporting tools, you're providing them with information. Usually this requires additional budget dollars to pay for the software and tools. For many organizations, the data and software comes with training, and unfortunately many believe that training is enough to develop skills to properly use data, but it's not. You need to provide applicational training that will help your organization move from data to insights, and teach them how to then turn those insights into action. Not only category management needs to have these skills, Sales, marketing, space management, and other departments require these analytic skills to make more strategic and fact-based decisions in their roles. And to move to breakthrough insights, the right analysis at a much deeper level needs to be done. This is where the specialists do their work, where category management and shopper marketing can complete the in-depth analysis to find those breakthroughs. You need to set aside part of your data budget to pay for the corresponding applicational training to increase capability on your team and in your organization ongoing. This will help you increase data return on investment and more importantly move your organization to a more strategic and fact-based approach. At Category Management Knowledge Group, we can work with you to create solutions that will help you move your organization to a more strategic, fact-based place with increased return on investment for data purchased. So where do you go from here? If you're interested in purchasing the certified course or working with us to help you determine multifunctional training opportunities for your organization that will ultimately lead to increased return on your data investment, please contact us. We don't believe in a one-size-fits-all approach and will consult with you to ensure that what we deliver meets your specific needs and business issues. We hope to hear from you soon. Have an excellent day.